Hey everyone, welcome back and happy. What is that? Wednesday, duh. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome back. Um, I know today I, I can't even express to you guys enough. I have been to a few different places. I went to Publix like twice. I went to Starbucks like four times, like an addict. I went to the gym. And like I'm seeing how people are reacting to the election news, and it's just like wild. So I'm barricading myself inside of this house. I'm not taking on negative energy. I'm also not like I don't want to be around people fighting over things. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna stick to what I know best, and that's housewives. So before we jump into the housewives drama of it all, the real housewives of Salt Lake City, because I'm about to defend my girl against the clownery. The clownery. And sometimes people say, oh, Adam, you sound so biased. It's not that I sound biased, guys. I think it's just I know a different version of the story. And I'm not trying to sound aggressive either. But this to me is wild. We're going to cover it. Smash the like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And let's jump right in to this. guys. I know for a fact you have all seen this. So thank you to Reality Blurb and everybody else who has covered this. Monica Garcia has been ordered by a judge to pay Heather Gay's med spa, Beauty Lab and Laser, over $35,000. Now, over a year after Heather filed a lawsuit against the 40-year-old former Real Housewives of Salt Lake City cast member, claiming that she refused to pay for the thousands of dollars worth of injections that she received, a judge has ruled in favor of Heather's business. Hmm. According to the court documents obtained by the U.S. Sun on November 5th, that was just yesterday, Heather's company filed a proposed judgment in a Salt Lake City court last month, and on Monday, a judge approved the proposal, entering $35,853.60. This is the judgment in favor of Beauty Lab and Laser. Here's my thing. I could be petty Betty. You come after me, my business, my family. Yeah, I'll take you to the nines. But what people fail to realize in this story is that, one, this was six years ago, which sure doesn't take away from it. But from what I heard and what Monica, you know, like showed me, and this was not even, this was before any of this came out, Monica had to go get things fixed and it cost her a couple grand. Now, I also heard really negative rumors about the black eye and where the black eye could uh, potentially came from. And I heard it wasn't Jen Shaw. I'm not linking it to anything. I'm not saying anything. I'm not alluding to anything. So keep me off of your Sue list there, girl. But what I will add to that is Tanisha is the one who literally brought all of this after it happened six years ago to Heather Gay. Tanisha was the same one who is the woman who, or girl or makeup artist, or I don't even know what the girl does. I don't know what she does. She's pretty though. She is pretty. Um, she's the one who brought that to Heather. And then also Dana Wilkie thinks that Heather and Tanisha are the ones who brought the Whitney stuff to her? I'm seeing a pattern. A pattern. I don't like patterns. I like solids. I'm not a pattern kind of person. And for me, I don't feel like Heather and Tanisha are being that solid. And this, I'm looking, you want $35,000 plus dollars from this woman. Okay. Why? Let's continue on. Because this, this gets even crazier to me. In August of 2023, Heather's company filed a lawsuit against Monica, which included a principal amount of $2,000 and an 18% interest charge per year, beginning in February of 2020 and ending in October of 2024. 
that would be for a total of $1,683.62 in interest. She was also charged a $15 late fee and $604.98 in other court-related costs. And she was charged for Beauty Lab and Laser's attorney fees. Attorney, yeah, fees. Which came to a total of $31,550. So you get the girl fired. You give Bravo an ultimatum. You say... I don't want this woman on the show. She's crazy. She's out there. She's a liar. She's not trustworthy. She's manipulative, trash, a snake. Then you get busted, allegedly, for the things that are potentially going on behind the scenes with you and your friend, Tanisha. And then you win this lawsuit, which I believe is being appealed. And then you claim 30 plus thousand dollars in attorney's fees after you get her fired. Who's a single mom? Like what I don't get. And I, I, yes, I said I could be a little bit biased on this, but honestly, guys, if you understood my relationship with Monica Garcia, you would know we both do not care with each other in the sense that like, if, if I say something that Monica does not like, she will literally give it to me straight. She will tell me straight. She'll be like, Adam, shut up. And she'll tell me. And I like that. But I'm also the same way. I'm like, if you want a puppet or a yes man or whatever, go deal with your glam squad. It's not me. I'm not always going to sit there and like kiss your A-double-S and be like, oh my God, you're so amazing. That's not me, you guys. I'm never going to be that person. I'm just not. But like in this instance, no, I'm not kissing anybody's ass. I'm like looking at it like you got her fired. You found out about this six years later. She had to pay, which if she if she gave the receipts to show that she had to pay 3000 or however many thousands of dollars to get things fixed that she claimed was not good from there. And I don't know. I wasn't there. I didn't see it. But then, then you sue and want like, let's just round it up to 35 grand and 31 of that in attorney's fees? Yeah. I mean, okay. Now that the judgment has been finalized, the company can charge Monica an additional 18% in interest each year until the full amount has been paid. The plaintiff is entitled to recover all future collection costs, court costs, and attorney's fees incurred in enforcing and collecting this judgment. Following Heather's company's proposal last month, Monica's attorney, Larry Reed, scoffed at the idea that she should be held accountable for paying the lawyer fees. The amount of fees sought by the plaintiff is greatly excessive in view of the amount in dispute in this action. Yeah. I mean... The lawyer also added that the principal amount of Beauty Lab and Laser's lawsuit was only 13% of the small claims limit of $15,000. Monica's attorney also confirmed plans to appeal the ruling. An appeal will be filed, and we're confident. But as Salt Lake City fans may recall, Heather sued Monica for breach of contract and breach of the covenant of good faith and fair dealing, stating that she had signed a contract to pay $2,449 for cosmetic injection services in 2019, but only paid the initial fee of $449. Beauty Lab and Laser said in its case that it suffered and continues to suffer significant losses and damages due to Monica's non-payment. Oh my God. In response to the case, Monica filed a counterclaim suing Heather's company for breach of independent duty of care, breach of contract, and breach of duty of good faith and fair dealing. But although Monica admitted to paying just $449, she claimed in her court documents to have stiffed the business for the rest because she allegedly received defective, negligently given injections, which did not have the intended promised result. She then claimed that Beauty Lab and Lasers botched injections forced her to seek out a competent party to fix the damage. Now, her countersuit was thrown out in January because the claim was 
time barred by the statute of limitations, and she failed to obtain a certificate of compliance from the Division of Professional Licensing. I don't know how to even address this. I think it's whack. I think it's so whack. I think that this is just like, you want that, sorry, I'm like, you want the girl fired off the show. You're you're sitting on you and your friends and maybe I have a different soft space for Monica, I guess, but you're calling her a nail salon worker, which is not even an insult because a lot of nail salon workers make a lot of money. Um, pretending like she doesn't exist, you don't know her. Suing for over $30,000 in attorney's fees. And she's a single mom. I just wonder, like, how do, how the do you expect her to pay it? I want to hear what you guys think. Guys, please pop off in the comment section. I love you guys. We'll see you soon.